Okay, here's the video on how to change strings for a nylon string guitar. So first, I want to say this though, a lot of people will take off all six of their strings and then put all six new strings back on again. I tend not to do that. Um, it sort of messes with the tension of your instrument. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change one string at a time. And I'm going to start with the low E string. Uh, before we start though, you're going to need fancy string winder, a pair of clippers, and of course uh, some Diodario Pro Art normal tensions. Okay, here we go. So step one is we have to take the old string off the guitar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it like a cello. It's between my knees. That way I can hold the guitar without using my hands. Now i got two hands to operate the area with the tuners and with the tools and so on. So this way it's a lot easier. Now if you hold the guitar like this and you're trying to you know, use one hand to crank the knobs and so on and do everything with one hand, then uh, it's not very fun. So we're going to hold it like a cello. And the first thing to do is to loosen up the low E string so that it comes off the tuner. So we're sure that we want to turn it this way. Of course, I'm playing the string to make sure it's getting looser. Of course, if I were to tighten the string, it breaks. So make sure you're loosening. This is where the string winder comes in handy. Otherwise your wrist can get kind of tired. I've loosened the string up all the way. It's going to come right off the tuner. Okay, now to deal with the other end of the string. This time I'm going to hold the guitar like this. It's very easily going to come off the bridge. Makes kind of a weird noise. Okay, now this string's no good. You can't really put it back on your guitar. The ends are kind of pigtailed, and it's going to be pretty tough to put back on your guitar. Plus, it's all stretched out, and it's a bit rusty. So, this is just trash or maybe uh, an art project for a kid. Okay, so now we're going to put on the new E string. I like how these strings are labeled so that you don't get them mixed up. Okay, so every string has a label, so we're going to pick out the low E string. Should be the thickest one, of course. Here we go. We're going to take the little sticker off. We don't really need it anymore. Now, usually on these nylon strings, each end is a little different. This end seems to be a, a solid string, just like the rest of the string. But this end is kind of loose and very flexible. So this must be the end that we use to tie the knot. So we're going to start by tying the knot first. Okay, so we're going to take the flexible end of the string and we're going to put it through the bridge like this. We're going to want about three inches of slack like this, so I have a little bit to work with. The other end of the string is going to end up going all the way down the fretboard. Now this end of the string we don't want to bend or flex or put any kinks in because it will break there when we tighten the string up. So this portion of the string doesn't get involved in tying the knot at all. Only the tail end of the string is used to tie the knot. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the tail end of the string and we're going to loop it around the part of the string that you play. And then we're going to bring the tail end of the string and loop it around itself two or three times. Once you've got that accomplished, you just tighten the knot up a little bit and you're done with this end. The next move is to attach the string to the tuning post. This is where we're going to go back to the cello hold so that we can work with both hands. Okay, so now at this point I'm going to take the end of the string and I'm going to place it through the tuning post 
but I'm not going to pull the string all the way tight. I'm going to leave a little bit of slack in the string. Okay, and then my next move is to take the end of the string, come back around again, and we're going to go through the tuning post one more time in the same direction we went the first time. Sometimes on the thicker strings, it doesn't want to go all the way through. And if it doesn't, then don't force it. But on most guitars, you can go through the tuning post twice. Okay, and then I'm going to pull that tight. Okay, so now the guitar has a string attached to it, not really with a knot, but with a loop. Now there's no way this string is going to slip and come through the tuning post as you tune up or when you do bends or when you play real hard. So now that we're ready to tighten it up, I'm going to get the handy dandy string winder. And here we go. Now every time we go around the tuning post, we're going to get closer and closer and closer to the center of the guitar. And make sure that your windings are going around the same way as all the other strings. I'm kind of guiding it on with my hand and I'm kind of keeping the string tight as I go so that the windings are nice and neat. Okay, and then, of course, don't stick your face too close to the string as you tune it up to pitch, because you never know. Sometimes strings break right away. That sounds pretty close. Okay, now your string is going to stretch right away, and it's not going to stay in tune right off the bat. So what we're going to want to do is of course, tighten up your knot here a little bit. And uh, then we're going to stretch the string by grabbing the string about at the 12th fret, which is the middle of the string. And we're going to kind of gently tug on it like this. Of course, not too hard. You don't want to break the string. But we're going to loosen up the string. We're going to make sure all the windings and the knots are nice and tight. And you should do this for about 30 seconds. Of course, after you do this, the string is going to be pretty out of tune. So you tighten it back up to pitch and maybe stretch it a little more. Okay, that's pretty close. Now it's not going to stay in tune for the rest of today. It's going to take at least 24 hours to stretch out all the way. So if you play nylon string, the last thing you want to do is change your strings right before a concert. I'd say maybe two or three days before a concert, but never the night before a concert. Your strings just won't be in tune by then. Sounds pretty good. Okay, our final step is to cut off the excess string. Notice I saved that for last. The last thing you want to do is trim the string before you put it on or trim the string before you've tuned it up to pitch because it might slip a little bit and so you always want to save this for last. I always leave about an inch or maybe about a half an inch just in case the string slips through the tuner a little bit. Okay and then we're going to do the same thing to the other end and I'm not going to cut it too short. I'm going to leave just a little bit of tail there. Okay, we're ready to go.